Hi, my name is Kenya, and I wanted to make a video showing my DNA um, ancestry results. I've been watching um, all types of DNA results, like on YouTube, so I'm like, I'm going to make me a video uploading my results. But um, anyway, so it's been eight weeks since I ordered... Um, my DNA um, ancestry kit and went through the process of like spitting in the tube and mailing it back. And it took a really long time because they said they had like a high demand or whatever. So I'm just happy to finally get them back. So I'm not going to take too long because I hate when I be seeing like everybody else's videos and they be like, you know, showing the box and like explaining what they did to get the kit. Like you can't find out on your own. But I mean, I'm, I'm going to say a couple of things real quick. Um, I'm going to say, I did already look at my results, but I was in total shock, kind of, because I expected, you know, a little different of my results based on what my family has told me. But all of it seems very accurate. So, I mean, I would, like, encourage anybody to, like, get their own DNA, you know, results and to know their ethnicity like that'd be really cool but um I think it's right so let me just give this away <laughs> but anyway but hold on like I was just so excited to tell everybody you know like cause it's just like I, it's just a really beautiful thing like all these cultures are so beautiful and to know like where you come from it's just really awesome um Anyway, let me just get to the point. So, let's start off with what most people already know is that I am 69% African. Alright, and it breaks it down and it says that I am 25% Nigerian. 18% Cameroon Congo, um, 10% Signal, um, 8% Ivory Coast Ghana, and 7% um, Benin Togo, which is really interesting parts of Africa to me. Um, and then there was a low confidence region of Africa Southern Eastern. I mean, Southeastern, which, which was only 1%. And that's coming from, like, um, you know, like, South Africa, Kenya, Zimbabwe, um, Bosnians, and, you know, Zimbabwe and stuff like that. So, um, that was really cool. But what shocked me was there was 1% Asian in there. Um, South Asia, 1%. Okay, let me stop and tell a story. Okay, so... I go to the University of Missouri, and it's so diverse up there. Like, well, you know, not really. It's mostly, like, you know, Caucasian people. But um, at the same time, there's, the, there's a lot of people from different cultures there. And one of my instructors is um, from India. His parents are from India. So before I even got my results, I'm telling him, like, oh, my God, I ordered me a DNA accessory kit. And me and you are probably family. I will find out if we family. And he's like, yeah, okay, whatever. But for it to be actually on there and to say uh, that I was 1% Asian, Asian from South Asia coming from, hold on, coming from India, Pakistan, Nepal, and stuff like that was pretty, like, cool because I'm like, now I can tell him, like, no. You know, even the, if it's just a little bit, like, Somewhere along the line, somebody in my family got freaky with somebody in that culture. But, I don't know. I thought that was cool. Because I didn't expect to be no Asian at all. But, <laughs> let's see. Alright, well, then we go on. I'm 28% European. Which is not a surprise. Because my grandma is mixed. Her dad was white. And... What sh did shock me was is saying that I'm coming from Great Britain, 17% Great Britain, which is pretty, uh, that's a lot to me. 
and I, I just don't, I don't know anything about that life. Like, what the heck, Great Britain? I don't know anything about them. But, um, um, it, it's just crazy to know that. So then it goes on to say, I'm 3%, um, Italy and Greece. Cool. Um, 2% Ireland, 2% Scan Scandinavia, um, 1% Europe East, less than 1% Iberian Pen Peninsula, um, less than 1% Europe West, less than 1% Finland, Northwest Russia. And then, lastly, it goes on to say that, um, I'm 2% America, which is a Native American. Okay, so, I swear, I was way more than 2% um, Native American. I thought for sure it was going to be a good 12% because so many people have told me that I was Native American. But I've been hearing a lot that a lot of black people, African American, think that about themselves and are incorrect. So, I mean, whatever. But... I mean, it was all very good to me. I was happy with my results. But I did have a little bit of a problem with not being more in the Latino community. Like, you know, like, I wanted to be, like, strongly associated with them because their culture is so beautiful. I love it. Like, you know, you know, it just, I just wanted, really wanted to be like, oh, I'm a little Latina, you know. Even though some of these, one of them, the European, it says Spain. But it was so little of a amount. But, um, okay, so, like, but, anyway, I just wish I was more of that. But, um, pero voy a seguir hablando mi español. Um, but back to the Asia part, you know, at least I'm like related to like Gandhi now. So I've been taking, I haven't been taking all these philosophy classes for no reason. You know, they talk about Gandhi a lot. So now I can be like, wait a minute, you know, I have a little bit of blood, you know, a little bit of ethnicity relating to him. Maybe I might pay attention more when they start talking about him in uh, my philosophy classes. But anyway. Back to my Latina. I'm going to keep dancing into my Latino music. You know, my daddy Yankee. I'm going to keep, you know, <laughs> you know, learning about that culture. But, yeah, that's the end of my video. Thank you for watching.